Turning now to a GMA exclusive, game changer Jennifer King and her history-making promotion, becoming the first black woman to coach full-time in the NFL. We're going to talk to Coach King. There she is. We're going to talk to her live in just a moment. But first, here's her story. This morning, it's official. The Washington football team making history, adding Jennifer King to their sideline as assistant running backs coach. King, a trailblazer on and off the field, will be the first black woman to coach full-time in the NFL and only the second woman coach to hold a full-time position behind the Bucks defensive line coach, Lori Locust. We've never seen anything like this in the National Football League. This strong, broad-shouldered league, so popular, uh, so masculine, so set in its ways, running smack dab into this tidal wave of change in the United States. In an NFL offseason with black coaching candidates being overlooked for jobs, only Mike Tomlin and Brian Flores in current head coaching roles, now King's historic promotion, hopefully a sign of progress. King is a seven-time All-American quarterback and wide receiver for the women's pro football team, the Carolina Phoenix. And in 2018, she made her NFL debut as coaching intern for the Carolina Panthers. She has put in the work. Joining us live now is Coach Jennifer King. Good morning. Good to see you. Congratulations. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, not Thank many. You. You're very welcome. Not many people can say, "Hey, you know, my promotion led to um, a history-making moment." You can say that. When did you first hear about this? When were you first told about your promotion, and what was your reaction? Uh, we're in the middle of game week, uh, so I was preparing, and coach called me in, and we had a conversation to let me know uh, what was going to happen. So uh, I was really excited about it, but, you know, in the middle of game week, things are kind of hectic, so I, <laughs> I went back to my office and just went right back to work. <laughs> coach Rivera, I know we had him on last year. I know he has, has had some health concerns, so please pass along our best to him when you talk to him next. Next, you're going to hear from another game changer with the same last name who wants to pass along her congratulations, the legendary Billie Jean King. Here she is. Congratulations, Jennifer, on your new promotion with the Washington football team to become the first black woman to coach full-time in the NFL. In a new history-making job, you will inspire generations of children because if you can see it, you can be it. So I'm so happy for you. Keep going for it. Representation is so key. Okay, Jennifer, um, what advice do you have for a young person? I mean, you didn't have anybody who looked like yourself in your dream job. If somebody doesn't have somebody in the field that they're pursuing that looks like them, what's your advice to them? Yeah, I think it's just having that, that personal mantra of really trying to be so good that you can't be denied and just keep going. You know, there'll be hardships for you. Uh, there'll be struggles and difficulties. But if it's something that you really want, uh, you have to find a way to get it done and, and not take no for an answer. Find a way to get it done. And uh, in the NFL, and we, we shared this in the piece, um, it's, it's been a difficult role to find blacks in a head coaching position in the NFL. There are only two black men that are head coaches in the NFL right now. We're showing them right there. Um, what are your aspirations? Do you hope to be a head coach one day? And what would you like to see moving forward with diversity within the league? Yeah, possibly. Um, you know, coach always tells us to be where our feet are. And, you know, <laughs> that's kind of where I am right now. It's just focusing on how we can be better next season. Um, but, yeah, you know, long-term goals, that could be something that I look forward to. But um, I'm not sure, you know, with, with the current – hiring practices of head coaches, but I, I really hope that, you know, some of these guys who are more than qualified get their opportunities. Right. There are a lot of qualified men out there deserving of that opportunity. You, as I said, you've put in the work. You as, as a player, as a coach, both in college and in middle school. I love this picture that you posted when Washington played the Bengals. This is Jermaine Pratt. You were one of his coaches in middle school, his middle school football team. You, uh, you both have done very well for yourself. Um, but have you ever gotten any pushback um, from any players that you've coached? I've been uh, super fortunate to work with a great group of guys, and, you know, I think it comes from the top. I've had some great bosses, uh, Rick Neuheisel, Buddy Tevens at Dartmouth, and obviously Coach Rivera. Um, you know, that, that culture that they've built has been fantastic, and, you know, the guys that I've worked with have been awesome. And they have spoken so highly of you, especially they say the way you communicate, that your communication skills are are very key. You have a mantra uh, about a standard going forward. What is that? How's that helped you? 
Yeah, that was one of the first things I realized when I got to the NFL was just how high the standard was. And um, I just started carrying that over into my life and things kind of took off from there. But it's so important to, to have something that you stand for and that you live by and you know what you're willing to accept and what you're willing to not accept. Well, I know it could not have been an easy road, but you are there. And you, as I said, you have earned it both as a player and as a coach and had the respect of so many and appreciate you greatly. So what's next? What's next? What's next for you, coach? <laughs> oh, I mean, it's really all about hitting the offseason and, and trying to make us better. So um, we have a little time off and then we'll get back to it to, <laughs> to try to do it again next year. You know, we got a little taste of the playoffs. So now, <laughs> uh, you know, you want to get back in advance. Yeah, you do. There's that smile. Just thinking of the postseason. All the best. <laughs> Thank you so much. You take care. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.